we have finally found the Toyota Tacoma. So now after looking at five different dealerships, I finally got a dealer that kind of wanted to work with me. What's up? So I'm in the rental taco, you know, the TRD sport they gave me. We're on our way to the first dealership to try and see what we can do in terms of working out a deal for this new taco or tundra. I'm not, I, like I said, I'm on the fence between a taco or a tundra, but I definitely am sticking with Toyota. Originally, I bought the taco I totaled in Ohio from a dealer that my dad had purchased uh, like four Toyotas from in the past already, so he gave me a great deal. I already texted him, he's gave me the, the best price so far, but I'm in North Carolina now, so we're gonna be seeing what kind of deals we can work out with the people down here. So come along on this journey as I purchase the next truck for the channel and for uh, my life, really. I will try and provide some tips on like how to purchase a vehicle, negotiation tactics, all that sort of stuff along the way. I'm not the most familiar. I've only purchased one vehicle and my dad helped me a lot on the negotiation factor for that. But I also run a business where we do sales and stuff. So I understand 100% how this game works in terms of sales and that. So that's what we're going to see. One thing that is nice about Toyota is they do a lot of their financing through uh, Toyota Financial, their own financial firm, which is very helpful when you're trying to get a good deal. One downside though, the tacos, they normally run a 1.9% interest financing. That's what I bought my last one on, uh, which is really low, as most of you know. Uh, they also do like 0% on like some of the like Tacoma or uh, Camrys and the RAV4s, uh, but 1.9% is really good. The downside, it doesn't look like 1.9% is available down here in North Carolina, but it is available up in Ohio. So I'm pretty much just going to dealerships now to try out the trucks, uh, the different options. Like I'm, I'm considering getting a moonroof. Uh, I'm considering getting leather seats instead of cloth seats. I wanna see what's out there, especially since the first time I was purchasing that truck, I was right out of college. I was kinda on a really tight budget for what I wanted to buy. Um, I've been out of college for two years now. I build up a, a little bit of savings and I have some money to spend and I'm looking to buy something that's gonna, uh, that I'm gonna really like. So that's why I'm also considering a bigger truck. Uh, it's easier to pull the trailer. There's all kinds of factors, but I've been rambling a lot. I will catch back up you guys when we get to the dealership. I'm not sure how much I could film, but I brought my phone instead of my camera. So that way I'm a little more discreet. So see when we get there. We here, we here. <laughs> I mean, that's badass, but 60 G's pretty much. Tundras to see what we have options on. Um, he's getting the keys to this one. Uh, MSRP on this one's 48, which is damn. But uh, there's that. I mean, that's a that's a sexy truck. All right, I'm gonna be honest. Driving the Tundra, this thing is nice. It's smooth. Well, I mean, it drives like a truck, but. It's it's so big. Like my only concern is will it fit in my garage, honestly. I honestly don't think it would fit in my garage, but it is a very sick vehicle. Well, people, it could be because I'm young, but I can tell you right now, they were trying to hackle the hell out of me and they were not trying to pop a deal. So MSRP price on the truck I was looking at, just the baseline Tacoma Off-Road was about 40, 49, 40,009. And uh, they were, hitting me with the fact that they bought the truck, bought the truck for 38.8 or something like that, which I totally don't believe at all. There's no way you only have a two grand margin on your MSRP pricing. So they hit me at that and I said, and I basically told them I'm like 34.5 is the, the the highest I would absolutely go. And they, they literally didn't budge off 38. So I don't know if it's just because I'm young, they don't want to pop a deal or whatnot. On to the next dealership. We're going to check out another dealership tomorrow. And then if that doesn't work, I got a dealership up in Ohio that I bought the original truck from. He's been throwing out pricing way lower than all these guys are throwing me out right now so I don't know if the Ohio region has cheaper pricing or what it definitely is not the deal down here see you guys on the next dealership well we're glancing at this one this doesn't have what I want because they have mud guards on here I don't want mud guards on my truck they don't have the floor mats on this one so we're looking at all right people just wanted to update you guys on what all has gone down it is day two now of the search for the next Tacoma 
And um, I spent a lot of time yesterday after getting back from Rice. Well, first off, they, they, they called me back and tried to negotiate a lower price than what they were trying to tell me at the store. So, first off, I f***ing hate people that do that. Can we get dealerships that just like, yo, here's the price. You pay it like Tesla. There, there's a price. You pay it. There's no negotiating. I would, I would love for dealerships to just f***ing do that, or just get rid of dealerships in general and let me buy all my vehicles online. It'd be so much easier. Anyways, that rant's over. With. I've been doing a lot of research online and looking at uh, the Tacomas out there, looking at the range and looking at um, the options and stuff like that, and also just looking for the one that I want because the cement gray one is really hard to come by. The dealership I was at yesterday. They didn't have the cement gray color that I wanted. The dealership I was actually gonna go to today, I thought had it, but it was actually a silver one. The dealership up in Ohio actually has the exact truck that I'm looking to buy in on their lot. That's one thing, if you're looking for a truck, go to a dealership that has it on their lot because they're gonna be way more likely to negotiate better. And that is no exception today. Being based in Greensboro, like Raleigh, Winston-Salem, there's a bunch of dealerships around here that I can go to. Um, but I found a dealership in Winston-Salem um, that actually has, I think, three of the exact same trucks that I'm looking at. Cement gray, leather interior, moonroof, all that. Um, so we're gonna go over there now. Another tip, another tip. If, before you go to a dealership, if you are gonna do financing, which I'm assuming most of you will, pre-apply. So pre-apply on their website, that way when you show up, you're already pre-applied and they know you're pretty much serious. So they're gonna be more willing to work with you and actually, uh, negotiate because they know you're serious and you actually have money to buy a vehicle especially if you're young, young like me um, pre-applying for these dealerships just gives you that little bit of ledge up when you walk in there that they know you're legit and you're not just some kid looking at fancy vehicles that you can't afford but um, yeah so let's get on the road and we're gonna go check out what uh, what we can do maybe we'll be coming home with a Tacoma tonight who knows I don't know we'll figure it out let's go well this dealership is massive and uh they have a f load of cement gray tacomas right here is that a pro no that's a sport with the trd upgrade that's a sport that's an off-road yeah dura tracks oh sh they got dura tracks on this one. Oh, and it's got blacked out okay I, I, I gotta stop for a second i gotta stop for a second this one's got dura tracks and a blacked out badges already yo that's tight they got the blacked out badges already okay this blackout pad did is sick What's the sticker on this bad boy? Did he even have a sticker? Where's the sticker at? Oh, this is a stock. This is a base. This is a base model. And so begins the search slash negotiation. Well guys, it's another day and another day of searching for the new Tacoma. And actually that has finally come to an end and I will share that here in a second. It is actually behind me. We have finally found the Toyota Tacoma. So now after looking at five different dealerships, I finally got a dealer that kind of wanted to work with me and create a deal for what I was looking for. And before I show you the truck, I kind of just wanted to go over a little bit of negotiation and talk Talk about how you can go about purchasing a new vehicle because I know a lot of people um, that watch my channel are on the younger side and a lot of people have never negotiated a vehicle before and uh, I'm no exception to that I've only negotiated one other vehicle and my dad was there pretty much leading the, the negotiation so I've had to learn how to negotiate how to purchase a vehicle so first off you need to know exactly what you're looking for for me as you'll see in the truck, I had four things that were non-negotiables, things that I had to have in this truck that I was looking for. One was the exterior color had to be cement gray. Two, it had to be a TRD off-road. Three, it had to have, in the interior, it had to have leather and a moonroof. It had to have leather seats and a moonroof. And number four, it had to have all weather floor mats. Those are the main things that were non-negotiable. It had to have those items. Anything additional to that was additional. That was my non-negotiables. You need to know exactly what you're looking for that is where you start off your search secondly you got to start searching for me when it comes down to finding this truck this was really hard to do because one cement gray is a really hard color to come by cement gray for the toyota tacomas is very rare and it's very hard for dealers to keep it in stock it it comes off the shelf like crazy which does not play into my favor when it comes to negotiation so you need to research your area in my area i happen to be in a very populated uh, area so there are lots of Toyota dealerships around me and actually 
within a two hour radius, I was only able to find a total of two dealerships that actually had this exact truck on the lot. And we've already in this video already gone and checked out one of those dealerships. And yesterday I went and checked out the second dealership and that one is the one that finally made the deal to get me to purchase this vehicle behind me. Third on research, you need to reach out to all of these dealerships via text. That's my preferred platform, text or email prior to going to any of these dealerships. You wanna start the negotiation process before you go to any of these dealerships. So for me, that was via text. I was texting all of these dealers before I even showed up on the lot to check out the truck. So I was literally basically being like, hey, what's your entry level price? How much, how good of a deal can you give me? What's the out the door price? Um, just starting off that negotiation process because I want to basically pin those dealers against each other to see who's gonna give me the better deal between the two of them. So basically both of them gave me an online price. Uh, the one that gave me the lower online price, I reached out to the other dealer and said, hey, they're giving me this online price and it's got these features and went kind of like on a back and forth between the two of them to see who would give me the best entry price over the phone before I even came into the dealership. Now you would assume when I got the lowest price, I would go to the lowest dealer. No, I actually went to the one with the higher price originally so the dealer that you guys have seen me already go to was actually the one that listed a higher online price over text prior to negotiate. So between the two dealers, I went to the one that listed the higher price first and basically I went in there, I checked out the truck, went on a quick test drive to make sure it was uh, everything was ship shape with the truck. Um, it's a new truck, it's pretty much good. Made sure there's no scratch, no dents, no, no, no major things I need to be concerned about or things that I can use in the negotiation. Sat down with them and basically I started the negotiation process. I threw out a a low ball price just to see how much they would come down by and honestly they didn't really budge much at all they kind of stayed at their high end price and what they ended up doing was they came down to the price that was uh, basically the same price as what the dealer that I ended up buying the truck was listing over the phone and I ended up having to walk out on the deal because they're just they just would not work with me as I mentioned already on this video so after walking out on that deal what I did was basically contacted the other dealership and said hey, I think I'm interested in coming and checking out the truck. So what I did was I drove up there yesterday, uh, first again, checked out the truck, checked out to see if it was what I wanted, uh, made sure everything was ship shape, and then uh, went into negotiation. On the negotiation side of this truck, basically, um, I went in there, I lowballed them, and they actually came down a little bit on their price, and then I threw out a middle ground price between both of us, and we ended up settling on that price, and I will tell you guys that here in a second. After that, it was pretty much down to financing and all that sort of stuff, and this is the truck we ended up deciding on. Like I said, it's pretty much the truck I've been telling you guys. It is the Cement Gray, and I'm gonna make a whole video on this truck. Cement Gray, we ended up getting some bonuses like Predator Steps, front windows already tinted, um, but we have the leather seats, we have the moon roof that I was looking for and the all weather floor mats and it is obviously a TRD off-road Tacoma. For anyone that is wondering, here is the sticker so you guys can see how much this vehicle ended up cost. So before the dealer add-ons we were at uh, 44975 and MSRP price was 45874 and a uh, shout out Fred Anderson Toyota. Now the magic price out the door, the magic price out the door on this truck was 40,500. And that is after taxes and fees, that was out the door at 40,500, which was right about the deal I was looking to get. I was trying to get under 40 grand for this truck, um, but ended up settling at 40,500. And uh, now we have the brand new Toyota Tacoma to start on all of the mods. As you guys know, I have a complete Rough Country N3 lift kit waiting for this truck. I have my wheels and tires that are still muddy from totaling the vehicle. I need to clean them off with the 18 inch fuel rims. I have my K&N air intake over there, cold air intake ready waiting for this truck. Um, my hitch, my tonneau cover. And then obviously we also have all of the LEDs for the truck from Diode Dynamics. I'm actually gonna be probably be working with them. We're gonna be doing some cool stuff on the 2020. But anyways guys, this is the truck. And um, again, from totaling the vehicle, 
to insurance claim to purchasing the new vehicle a total of nine days shout out state farm for being awesome to work with on the insurance side um and shout out fred anderson for hooking me up with a great deal on the 2020 toyota tacoma anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this upload we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff to this vehicle i'm gonna be filming the whole process on the lift kit and everything so stay tuned to all that but anyways taco rick out i'll see you guys next time like comment subscribe Peace.